Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with building an app on Databricks. So Databricks apps were made GA or generally available by Databricks in May of 2025. And Databricks apps are basically just a way, like it sounds, to build an app in Databricks. Um, whether that's a data app or an AI app, um, it's a secure way to build an app in the Databricks platform. So let me show you what that looks like a little bit. There's two ways to get there. You can say new and then add app, or you can go through compute and then go to this apps tabs. And that's how you find your existing apps. So I'm just going to say, um, you can see I already have one created, um, just a simple hello world app, which is actually what we're going to be doing today. Um, but to create an app, all you have to do is go there, hit create an app. And then you can see here that they have several different web frameworks that you can use when creating these apps. You can use Dash, Flask, Gradio, Shiny, or Streamlit. And then there's a few templates that they have ready for you to use. You can do a chatbot, a data app, or um, Hello World app, um, or you can do a custom app if you already have an idea and know what you're doing. Uh, you'll see here that the app that I had previously is gone. I had to delete it because I'm on the free edition. And when I tried to create another app, it told me that I'm limited to just one app on this free edition. So I went and deleted it real quick. But if I hit Create App, then I'm going to go down and use a template. This is the Hello World template. And I'm just going to keep the name as Hello World and keep the description the same. And I'm going to go ahead and click Install. And then this will take just a little bit of time for the app to um, install and deploy. As you can see, it says this process may take two or, two or three minutes. So I'm going to pause this video and come back when it's finished. All right, so it just finished deploying and it did take about two or three minutes. Um, so you can see here that we have a status of running. Um, you can see the workspace. Um, this is the location where the code for the app lives. And then down here, there's some additional instructions that we're going to walk through a little bit later today. Um, so let, let's click into the app and see what that looks like. And there you go. Pretty simple. Hello world. So that's our app. Oh, and it actually has a little graph to go with it. I'm not going to get into the code very deep in this video. This is mostly just kind of how to launch and how to get, get the app going off the ground. And then in a future video, we can dive into you know, the actual code and um, customizing these apps. And then if I click on this and open it up in a new tab, this will take me to a workspace that is where the source code for this app lives. All right, so you can see here we have a few different files, our app.py file, our app.yaml file, and a requirements text file. So let's open them up and see what they look like. OK, so here's app.py. You can see the code that we're using. Uh, you can see it's using Dash framework. And then if I open up this folder, and let's take a peek at the YAML file. And there you go, and the requirements.txt file. So again, we're not going to go deep dive into the code. Just wanted to show you what that looks like. So if we go back into our app homepage, um, you can see that um, this is kind of where it lives. We can edit permissions, give permissions to certain users or certain groups. Um, we can make changes to the app itself in here, change the name of it, change the description. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, so this, so that's that's the initial launch of the app and. For the next part, I'm going to show you how to actually make changes to the app. OK, so let's step over into this home page for the app. And I'm going to walk you through how to set up the, how to, how to sync this code with a local IDE and then make some changes and deploy those. So if you scroll down here, you can see here it kind of gives you some instructions. And it says prerequisite setup. You have to set up a Python environment and um, have a Databricks CLI connection. If you do not have a Databricks CLI connection, you will need to do so. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video for that. It's not too hard, but go ahead and check out this video and I'll walk you through it in a very simple um, explanation. But if you do have it set up, then you can go ahead and continue. Um, so basically, all you have to do is copy these commands into um, the directory or folder on your local machine of where you want this code to, to run. And then you also do have to have an IDE of some sort. I have Visual Studio Code, but any text editor, or any place where you want to edit code is fine. Um, so this will copy 
the files to a local workspace. And I'm going to go here into the command prompt. And I've created a folder called Databricks. And within that, I'm going to create a, a hello uh, world folder. And then I'm just going to move it to that hello world folder. And now I'm going to paste that command and copy the code from Databricks into my local folder. OK, um, so now if I look, I will see I have that app.py, uh, app.yaml, and requirements.txt folders. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open that up here in my uh, Visual Studio. And you can see here I now have that Hello World, um, or I'm inside of that Hello World folder. And I have each of the um, files uh, from my Databricks workspace. There's one more thing I need to do. So I'm going to go back to the landing page for the app. And now it says I need to sync for future edits back into Databricks. So again, I'm just going to copy um, this command. And I'm going to paste it. OK, there's the command. And I'm going to hit Enter. It'll give this warning, but that should be fine. And there you go. It says initial sync complete. So now I'm going to go into the code itself, and I'm going to go to app.py, and we're just going to make a very simple change. So you can see here, this is the row where it says hello world, and then down here is the graph with that scatter plot. Um, I'm just going to say hello there. I'm going to click Save. It actually already is looking for changes to sync um, through that sync command that I showed you earlier. So let's go into back into Databricks. And if we go and look, yeah, you can see that the file itself has changed. It says hello there. Um, so you can see it's kind of listening. If I remove hello there and just put hello, and let's jump back into Databricks and see if it catches that change. OK, and there it is. So you can see that it's catching those changes and updating it in the app.py that's in Databricks in real time. And that's because um, we have that sync command here. You can see, though, that if I refresh this, the changes have not yet been deployed to the app. So, they, so they're here in the source code, but the, the changes have not actually been deployed. It's still saying hello there instead of hello. So what you can do is if I click deploy, and it's going to start. It's, it's going to take a, a few minutes or so. And then if we go here, then you can see here's the changes that match with what we have here in the source code. Um, and then the other method that's also simple and um, makes it so you don't have to actually go in and um, connect a, an IDE is you can just say, you can just directly make those changes here um, in the Databricks uh, notebook itself. itself. So then, again, um, changes aren't going to be there yet. Anytime you make a change to the code, you're going to have to deploy it. So here I go. I'm going to deploy it. Once the deployment's finished, and if I go here, there you go. It says hello world again. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you were able to understand and learn the basics of kicking off a Databricks app. If it was helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.